to introduce us to your herd, um, so we'll see a number of cows milking in your system here. Yeah, well, we're, we're farming a, a, an elevated farm. It's, it's a grass-based system. Um, this year we're going to milk about 310 cows. Um, strong Frisian based uh, genetics, a lot of back breeding with Dove, with the likes of Franz Pan and, and, and GOY. Um, have gone, stayed with the pure Frisians, but we've gone in with high, B, high EBI Holstein Frisian as well in the last number of years. So. And I suppose, how did your calving season go this year? We'll say, how did your breeding go last year? And yeah, uh, calving's going fairly well at the moment. Um, we're just shy of the 90% calved in, in, in the six weeks. Um, the last five years we've been a little bit over the 90%, so we're, we're, we're going fairly well. Um, we'll calve everything in 10 weeks this year. So um, last year we had a, a good, nice, compact, uh, high submission rate the first service. We had um, a, a submission rate overall of 93%. So we got a lot of them in nice and early uh, and got them um, back in calf quick. And we'll say, oh, how did your cows perform in 2020? Uh, yeah, they went, they went well. Um, we, had, uh, we sold 465 kilos of milk solids. Uh, we fed roughly just shy of, of, of another 30 kilos of solids to calves. Um, so they're going well. Uh, fat was 4.34 uh, 4 and protein was 3.74. So I suppose Brian, just the reason we're here today is just to discuss how you pick your bulls and the type of bull you go for. Um, maybe what's your herd's EBI in your... Yeah, well, we, we, we do follow EBI. Um, we have a number of criteria we look for. So the, the milking herd this year uh, at the start of calving was 166. Um, strongly weighted on fertility, so it is. So we have a, a fertility index of 107. Uh, we're working on the, on the milk index, so that's up around 28 at the moment. Um, but we're also looking at details in terms of uh, maintenance. So we want a medium-sized cow, around a, a 550 live weight cow. Uh, and we want a, a strong, durable cow that um, is able to survive the, the, the grazing system, but is also able to look after herself in terms of body condition uh, maintenance and health rates. And I suppose just from milk production, what, um, I suppose what figures do you go off? Your pick your bulls, so your milk kilos, your fat protein kilos. Uh, the, the, yeah, the, uh, the criteria that we look at is it's it's quite a strict one. We first look off at uh, at uh, the fertility index. So you want a strong fertility index, uh, maintaining at least a hundred in, in its offspring. So we're, we're looking for that bull that's around a hundred. Uh, next thing is that we look at maintenance size. So we want to keep the, a nice even herd. So we look for a, a bull team that's going to give us a maintenance index of around 17, 18. Uh, it has to be a positive on health. And then we get down to the detail in terms of milk. So in terms of milk, we want a, a high percentage bull. So, uh, that'll give us a, at least a minimum of somewhere between 25 to 30 kilos of milk solids. Um, on the protein size and the P PD of, of milk percentages, we're looking for at least 0.12. And Brian, I suppose, are you using sour bison to match your bulls to your cows? We do, yeah. We actually pick our team manually. Um, we find it's, 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 it's probably easier to do it that way, so we get the catalogue, we go down through and we start picking off the bulls we like. We then look at ba uh, back at the pedigree of it to make sure that it's safe to use across the herd. And then we run it through the sire advice. And that's quite a handy system that um, when we we're AIing in the morning on the parlour, that um, the person that's loading the guns for me as I inseminate has a quick glance down through the sheet. They can see what, what's needed and have the gun loaded for me. Brian, from our point of view, I suppose we have two bulls standing in stud at the moment. We have RBJ and FR4133. Do you want to tell us something about your family, co family? Or yeah, um, two bulls uh, coming off originally the one cow, uh, number 14. She was a big old GOY cow that was here when I first came home. Um, went relatively unnoticed for a number of years, but we bred, we put in a, a test sire into her at one year, a, a bull that was TIH. And we ended up with a, a great cow, uh, number 592. She was a fabulous cow, milked for years here, gave us lots of offspring. She was the mother of RVJ and um, she bred in a number of cows and uh, it, uh, Mr. Potter, the FR4133, would be a great grandson of hers. So a, a very good line, very happy with it. If we had heard of him, we'd be delighted. That's great. Thanks very much, Brian. No bother. Thank you, guys.